Tifi and Eve look so happy together. Yes, but that happiness will vanish just as soon as TC opens that envelope. And TC finds out about Eve's naughty past. Yes. Charity had a premonition that hearts would be broken this Valentine's Day. And it looks as if TC's and Eve's will definitely be two of them. TC, when I'm in your arms like this, it's as if nothing else in the world matters. That's because I love you with all of my heart. The best day of my life was when you walked into it, Eve Russell. It's the best day of my life, too. <sighs> That's why I was telling Sam how lucky he and I are to have found the only two women in this whole wide world who's perfect for us. The two women that we love with our hearts. Mm. I'm so glad that Sam and Grace got to go on a second honeymoon. Mm. They so deserve it. <sighs> yes. Let go of me, Ivy. No. We have been running away from our feelings for too long. I know you want me. Why am I so weak? Was Sam really carrying a naked woman or... Is my mind just playing tricks on me? Oh. They can't be engaged. They can't be. You knew that Gwen was expecting Ethan to propose on Valentine's Day. But I'm wearing Gwen's engagement ring. Only because it got stuck on your finger, Teresa. You knew that Ethan always meant that ring to be for Gwen. But Ethan asked me to try it on, and then fate took over, and now it's stuck on my finger. Teresa, I'm sorry, but I'm tired of your ridiculous theories about fate. Still, when Gwen sees her ring on my finger, she'll be so furious. There's no way she'll marry Ethan. I'm ready, Ethan. I've seen a picture of, of the ring, and it's the most special, most beautiful ring in the whole world. But I'm ready to see it for real now, on my finger. Well, Sharon, it's after midnight. It's officially Valentine's Day. Am I gonna get my Valentine's Day kiss? Luis is with his valentine. Well, I guess we'll know how Sheridan feels about Hank if she kisses him. I think Chad likes me. This is gonna be the best valentine's day ever! Hey, Reese will be back with yours in a minute. Where's Charity? She went to go try on her skates. I'll go find her. Only she went the other way, Miguel. Kay, you were so bad. You know where Charity is and you wouldn't tell him? What's the difference? It's only gonna take him a few more minutes to find her. Look at her over there all bug-eyed looking at the snowman like she's never seen one before. Charity went on the thin ice and you wouldn't try to stop her? I'm not her watchdog, Simone. She's a big girl, she can take care of herself. But if the ice breaks, Charity could drown. Stop being so melodramatic.
probable? Why doesn't she see know about years past? Don't married couples tell each other everything? <laughs> Hardly. And certainly the perfect Dr. Eve Russell hasn't told her husband anything about her seedy past. What did Eve tell TC that she did before they met? Oh, she fed him some malarkey about coming from a, a proper religious family, all white gloves and afternoon tea dances. The perfect little girl who studied hard and became a doctor to help people. But those pictures in the red envelope prove that Eve was a very naughty girl. Very naughty. And Timmy, those photos are just the tip of the iceberg. Well, iceberg, Temple. <laughs> hmm, there's a lot more about Eve's murky past that I could reveal. But for tonight, just having TC see those photos will do. <laughs> Look at her, Timmy. So perfect, so happy. <laughs> she hasn't the slightest idea what's in store for her precious family tonight. You planned all this, didn't you? Yes. You somehow found out Grace and I were coming here, and you managed to get the room next to ours. You must have fixed the lock so you could sneak into our room. Grace was sleeping right there in our room when you begged me to make love to you. What the hell are you trying to do? I am trying to show you that we were men for each other. I'm trying to show you that I still uh, love just you. Just stop it. I don't love you. I love my wife. Sam, please don't go. Please. I, we were meant for each other. I, I want you to remember that. And, and remember the love we shared that we can share again. I saw it. Sam carrying a woman in the next room. And she was naked. What's going on? Sam? I am not going to get depressed about Ethan getting engaged to Gwen, because without this ring, it's not going to happen. Teresa, you are terrible. You just heard Ethan say that he wants to marry her. Ethan doesn't know that fate is running things now. It was fate when Ethan asked me to wear this ring. He just wanted to see what it looked like, Teresa. He wanted to make sure that it was absolutely perfect for Gwen. Well, fate is keeping it on my finger. No, you are keeping it on your finger. I can't get it off, Whitney, I swear. How hard have you really tried? I have tried, believe me, but fate wants Ethan and me to be together. You are seriously deluding yourself once again. Okay, Ethan will think of something to tell Gwen about the ring. He loves her, Teresa. He's not gonna lose her over this. That's not true. I know Gwen. She saw a picture of the ring and it's the only ring she wants. When she finds out that Ethan put her ring on my finger, she'll go ballistic and she'll break up with Ethan for good. And then Ethan will realize that I'm the one he loves anyway. Uh, you are unbelievable, Teresa. You know what? You should be a writer because you make up the most incredible fairy tales. Where's my ring? You did bring it with you, didn't you? I know you were planning to propose on Valentine's Day. And it's after midnight, so it's officially Valentine's Day. Ethan, where's my ring? Why is a ring so important? <laughs> it's just a ring. Just a ring? No, it isn't. <laughs> Ethan, every girl dreams of the day the man she loves slips a ring on her finger. Represents their unbroken circle of love. I know what it means. And when I put a wedding ring on your finger, that will be an unbroken circle of love. And it will be forever. But, Ethan, this is just as important to me. We have been together for so many years, and... And this ring is... so special and so beautiful and so perfect. I just want to put it on and show everyone that we're totally committed to each other. But I don't care what anyone thinks. As long as you know I am totally committed to you in every way for the rest of my life. Ethan, I love you so much. And I wasted so much time with my insane jealousy of Teresa. Please, 
Please just put the ring on my finger. I know, she probably skated over by the snowman. There's somebody's in trouble, what can I do to help? All right, you keep everyone else away. If the ice cracked, a whole lot of people... Look, we've got to get to Charity, all right? She can freeze to death before she drowns. All right, let's go. Come on, come on. This is all your fault. You knew Charity would be in danger, but you didn't try to stop her. It is not my fault. Charity is probably just using this as an opportunity to get Miguel's attention, and she deliberately fell on the ice. <gasps> You're crazy. No, Charity is crazy. She's the one having premonitions about death. You know... Charity had a premonition that Miguel would die. But maybe she's got it wrong. Maybe Charity's the one that's gonna die. And what are you gonna do if that happens? Charity! I don't see her! Yeah, don't go any closer. Charity! We have to help her! All right, she's breaking up. I don't want you falling. I can't lose her! Grace, is there any way to get her out? No, we will try. But I don't want anyone falling in. Right? Charity! Okay, we gotta look out! Gotta move fast. Fast. She's gonna fast. freeze, but it's gonna be the ice crack. Okay, okay, we'll get him, we'll get him, we'll get him. We'll get him. Okay. You won't be long now, Tim Tim. Excuse me, Dr. Russell, there's a call for you. <sighs> I know it was too good to last. I'm sorry, honey. It's all right, babe, but you know, it must be very important for him to call you this time of night. Be right back. trouble tonight are you sure that there's no sign of a bird statue in Orville's apartment well, yes I am aware that almost everything was reduced to ashes just thought I would ask one more time I see so you think it's gone forever stop looking at that stupid bird Tim. It served its purpose when it gave up the envelope. Now we can get rid of it. <gasps> oh, Timmy. Look, look. <gasps> Finally, he's going to open it. Get ready for the fireworks, Tim Tim. Ivy, this is insane. Of course I remember what we had. But it was a long time ago, and I don't love you anymore. I love my wife. No, don't say that. Hey, listen, it's, it's, it's true. My marriage is the most important thing to me. I don't believe you. No one shared a love as passionate as we did. We were young, and, and we were in love. And yes, we had great passion, but you're trying to resurrect something right now that is dead. It is dead, Ivy. Don't say we're that. We're both married to other people now. And no one is more important to me than Grace. I mean, it would kill her if she saw us like this. You want to destroy my marriage? Do you want me to be unhappy? Is that what you want? I want you to be happy, Sam. But I can make you happy. Happier than you would be with her. Sam? Are you in there? Sam, open the door. Ethan, do you want me to close my eyes while you slip the ring on my finger? Let's not talk about the ring. Let's, let's talk about wedding plans. Why are you stalling? I'm not stalling. Y yes, you are. Something wrong? <laughs> what could be wrong? Wynn must be getting very worried by now. I'm sure she is, but um, Ethan will think of something to tell her about the ring. He won't be able to tell her anything, Whitney. It's only a matter of time. Any minute now, Gwen will break up with Ethan, and then he'll realize that this ring is right where it belongs. Look, I don't know what's wrong, but... There's a reason you're acting so strangely. I mean, Ethan, did I assume too much when I proposed? No, no. I mean, was no. I was I wrong? Do you not want to marry me? You're not wrong. I do want to marry you. Do you? Ethan, were you even going to propose tonight? Yes, a million times yes. I'll ask you again to marry me if you'll prove how much I love you. Gwen, will you marry me? Will you be my wife? No. No, Ethan, no. Help me, help me! Come on, help me. Charity, hold on, we're coming to 
can't just let me go, Louise. We can't get any closer. We can't just stand here and do nothing. We have to get her out. Miguel, I sent Chad to call the fire department. I'll never make it in time. Miguel's right. Listen, we gotta do something now. Jerry, I'm coming. Miguel, you gotta keep your head if you're gonna save her. Reese, can you stay with him? I don't want you in the water. We'll keep him here, Louise. Wait, so maybe there's a ladder over that ship. All right, go get it, Hank. And we'll find a way to get the charity without the pressure on the ice. Miguel! Now look, you need a flashlight? It's a note, okay? Okay, I'll see what I can find. I've done some research on hypothermia. Some of the smallest charity can only last so long before she goes unconscious. What are you saying, Reese? You're saying she doesn't have much time. No, we're gonna get her out! Oh, I, she's been through so much. I can't believe this is happening again. How did this happen, Kay? I don't know. I have some blankets in my car. I'll go get them. Oh no, she went under! Jerry! Jerry! Sam. <laughs> what are you doing? Sam! I'm coming in. is a realist, Sam. And she's a good person. And she'll realize you'll be better off with me. You're crazy. <laughs> Sam! I know you're in there. There's no name on this. I wonder if somebody left it. Can I get you anything else, Coach Whistle? Uh, no, thank you, Marjorie. Just uh, check, please. There you go. Thanks. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Damn these interruptions! Oh no, I just wanted to make sure the bird was gone. I mean, my patient was very concerned about the statue and, and wanted to know one way or the other. Yes. Thank you so much. Well, I can see that you're still smiling, so what was the emergency? Oh, it wasn't an emergency. You know how when Tabitha was talking about the bird rising from the ashes? Mm -hmm. Well, I started thinking about Orville. And he told me he had this beautiful bird statue and he was very upset that it may have been lost in the fire, so I checked with the police to see if it had been found. So what'd you find out? Well, unfortunately, it's gone. Lost forever. Oh, no, it's not, dearie. Happy Valentine's Day, baby. To the perfect mother, to the perfect wife, and to the perfect doctor. Sweetheart, I know you don't like me calling you perfect, but you are to me. Mm. I love you so much, TC. I don't know what I would do without you. Well, baby, you'll never, ever have to worry about it. Mm. Let's go home. I wonder if the kids are home from ice skating. Mm. <laughs> no, you don't. You're not getting away that easily. <sighs> Teresa, give it up, okay? Ethan is going to marry Gwen whether he has the ring or not. He's probably just going to tell her that he lost it. I am not going to lose him now, Whitney. And, and if Gwen sees her ring on my finger, she'll be so upset that she'll break off the engagement. No, no, you can't let Gwen see the ring on your finger. Ethan will hate you if you do that. 
Yeah, if I show it to her, but if, if she accidentally sees it, he can't be mad at me now, can he? No, Teresa, don't do that. I have to, Whitney. I am fighting for my future. Will you marry me, Gwen? Yes, Ethan, of course I'll marry you. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's set a date, you know, and then we can tell our parents wait, the great wait, news. Ethan, wait a second. I know you don't understand this, but I can't tell my parents I'm engaged unless I have an engagement ring on my finger. I know it's just symbolic, but honey, it means everything to me. So please just put the ring on my finger. Hi, Gwen. Ethan. It's, it's, it's a beautiful <sighs> night, isn't it? It's the perfect beginning of Valentine's Day. This is gonna cause big trouble. Wait! What's the ladder? No. I'm worried the ice down there is too thin. Even if we lay out the ladder, the weight of whoever goes out on it could cause the ice to break and they could fall in. Look, we've gotta get her out! I, I can't see her, Charity! Look what you've done. Now will you admit that Charity wasn't just trying to get attention? She could be dead. She's not gonna die. She went under the ice keg. You know, if she doesn't drown, she'll freeze to death. I hope you're happy. I never meant for this to happen. You keep saying that, but you'll never mean it. Every minute she's in that freezing water is shortening her life. We can't just stand here! Just lay the ladder across the ice and across the hole and I'll climb up. No, no, I'll, no, I'll go out. I'll go out. I'm lighter. Look, no one's climbing out. Okay. Put the entire rope around my waist and I'll go down there and bring okay. her up. Okay. Beth went to get some rope. She'll be back in there, okay? Here are the blankets. Where's Charity? Did you get her out? She's gone. She went under. What? She could be anywhere under the ice. Please, God. Please don't let her die. I can't believe she's dead. Now she'll probably haunt me for the rest of my life. the door, Sam. Grace knows you're here. You're not gonna destroy my marriage. And if you were thinking clearly with your head instead of your heart, you wouldn't want to destroy your marriage either. <laughs> my marriage. Look, I don't know anything about your marriage, and I don't care. Look, just think about your children. What would you do if Julian were to learn about us? Not only what happened in the past, but what you've done tonight. You have daughters. You have a son. A son who has a very bright future ahead of him. Stop and think, Ivy. You're smarter than this. Ethan. Yes. Yours and Julian's son. Think what kind of a scandal this would do to him. He could kiss his political career goodbye. You're right, Sam. I can't let anything hurt Ethan. No. No, you can't. And I can't do anything to hurt Grace. I'll do anything I can to protect her. See how I can keep it from her. I can't, and I won't deceive Grace. There's no way I can keep private what you've done here tonight. I sure hope the kids are in bed by now. Mm. You behave yourself, TC. <laughs> There'll be no lovemaking tonight, Coach Russell. You are going to see those photos. I have to throw that envelope in your face. <laughs> Good night, you two lovebirds. <laughs> oh, don't forget your lovely box of chocolates and the... Call 911 now! 911? What's wrong, Chad? Somebody fell through the ice skating at the pond. Who fell in? Not Simone or Whitney. No, it's Charity. Oh, my God. She's been under for a while. I mean, Charity's right going now. to oh, yeah. die. I'm sorry, I hope I wasn't interrupting. Oh, Gwen and I just got engaged. Really? Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> Congratulations. You must be so happy, Gwen. <laughs> yes, I am. 
But Ethan and I have something very important to discuss, Teresa, so... Uh, oh, sure, sure. Me. Yeah, you want to be alone. Um, I hope nothing's wrong. No, Ethan just hasn't given me my engagement ring yet, so actually you're interrupting. Oh, I'm sorry. I know what an important moment this is for you. Very. Yeah, I really want to give Gwen her ring. Well, I guess I'll, uh, I'll be going then. All right, see you later. Teresa! Oh, you gotta get back to the skating pond. Miguel's in a terrible state. Why? Why? What's happening? Charity fell through the ice. Now they're trying to rescue her. Oh my god. Let's go. Let's see if we can help. <laughs> what is it, Kate? <laughs> Look there under the ice. Charity! She's still alive! She must have hit in their pocket. Come on, hurry. Get an axe. We don't have much time. I'll get the axe. All right, everyone, stand back. Get off the ice. Once we hack through this area, it's going to be unstable and treacherous. Go to the shore! Terry! Okay, you're a heroine. You found Charity for Miguel. you come to your senses, Ivy, but it's a little too late. She saw us. She knows we're in here. She's waiting for me to come back to her. No, she isn't. What are you talking about? You heard her. But you don't hear her now. No. It's quieter now. Yeah. She's probably out of it. She's probably gone back to bed. Out of it? I, um, uh, I put something in her dessert just to make her sleep. <laughs> You what? What the hell did you do to my wife? Sam, you're hurting me. You drugged her? I can't believe you did something like this. It was a harmless drug, Sam. Just that and the champagne. I thought she'd sleep all night. It won't hurt her. Well, it better not. Or I swear I'll have you up on charges. Calm down, Sam. Grace is fine. I can't believe you stooped so low. Don't you get it? It has been so many years since I felt your touch that I needed to be with you. My poor Grace. She, she didn't do anything to anyone. She's such a good person. She's, she's the best person in the whole world. I mean, she couldn't even think to do something like this. Oh, fine. I am not the saint that Grace is. Oh, you sure as hell are not. You don't know what Grace has gone through, what she's suffered. And I don't think it's fair that she should have to go through any more grief in her life. What about me? What about all the years I've had to spend in a loveless marriage? Uh, it's not my fault. And it definitely isn't Grace's. Now, I'm gonna go in here and tell her. No, Sam, don't tell her. Why not? Ivy, you were so eager to, s to have her see us here standing here naked. Yeah, well, I'm thinking with a little clearer head right now. Thought about what you said in your right about our families. It would be a tragedy for everyone concerned. Well, certainly Julian doesn't have to know, or anyone else. But I'm not going to lie to Grace anymore. I only did it to protect her. And now I realize she deserves my honesty. What if your marriage isn't strong enough to survive this? What if Grace doesn't forgive you for not telling her sooner? Well, hopefully she does forgive me. And hopefully our marriage is strong enough to last. Well, what if it isn't? What if she divorces you and the scandal goes public? You'll lose your career. My father-in-law will make sure that you're fired as chief of police. And what about your family? What about your children, huh? Are you willing to sacrifice their happiness just so you can have a clear conscience and confess? I don't get it, Ivy. I mean, you wanted Grace to know everything. I mean, why the change of heart? I thought about what you said, and you're right. I can't let anything ruin Ethan's future. He's the most important thing in my life. Why is Ethan your main concern? I mean, you have other children. I mean, don't they matter? I mean, why is Ethan the most important thing in your life? I have my reasons. Well, whatever they are, you keep them to yourself. I don't give a damn about Ethan. The only person I care about is Grace. Now, don't you dare go near her again. And don't you dare go through this door. Sharon, we 
What's going on? Have they rescued her? No, not yet. She's trapped under the ice. Oh, my God. Luis and Miguel are trying to get her out, but I'm afraid the ice isn't going to hold. Luis, Miguel, no, what can I do? Teresa, just stay back. We don't need anyone else falling through this ice. Here's the axe. She's freezing. She's turning blue. All right, Joyce, stand back. Don't worry, Charity. We'll get you out. I promise. Come on, Luis. Yes. Yeah. You see her? Hold on, Charity. The room is there. Charity, we're coming. Hang on. Get back, Don. Get back. Charity! What? But she's still in there and she's freezing. Yeah, don't get too close. <laughs> There's a rope. rope. <laughs> go, 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 go. Got me, Charity. I got you, Miguel. Oh, come on. <laughs> Luis, you need a hand. Yeah, help us form a human chain in case the ice breaks. Charity, we're going to get you out. Come on, Promise. Charity. Come on, Charity. Come on, Charity. Do it. Come on. Oh, you've got blankets. Good. Charity's gonna need all the blankets and coats we can find. Is the fire department on the way? I hope so. It's still pretty icy. It might take them a while. Somebody, if you got a car, bring it down close to the pond so we can get Charity in out of the wind. I, I'm parked close by. I'll bring it. <clears throat> Careful, Miguel. Ice can go at any minute. Come on, Charity. Come on, Charity. Reach, baby. Reach. Reach. Come on, you can do it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Charity. Come on, Charity. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, Miguel. A little farther. A little farther. Stretch out a little farther. Come on. Come on, Charity. I don't know what to wish for, Timmy. Charity dies. She's no longer a threat to us. But now, if she lives, I can bring her over to the dark side. But you can only do that if she causes Miguel to die. Reach. Reach. Come on, that's Come it. Come on. We're my inch, we're my inch. Careful. Yeah, there you go. Come on. Come on, Miguel. We're my inch, man. We're my inch. You got it. We're my inch. You got it. Come on. You got to give it all you got. Come on. Are you with another woman? Shh. Who was she? Don't try to talk. But, Just try to go to sleep. But Sam, it wasn't a dream, was it? I need to know. Listen, we'll talk about it tomorrow. Just try to get some sleep. I need to know, Sam. I still love you, Sam, and I still want you. And somehow, some way, I will have you. Come on, come on, reach. Come on. Oh, yeah. All right, come on. Guys. You're all right. You're gonna be all right. Come on. Easy, guys. Easy. All right, easy. Right, Take it again. We don't want to cause any more cracks in the ice. Okay. Miguel, get over here. I'm okay. Over here. You're too close to the ice. I'm okay.
Ah, oh, there's no saving the young lovers now. They're just two more hearts to be broken on Valentine's Day. Round the road, we go! Get the dog! 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 Get